Good morning, and welcome to the beautiful campus of Middle Tennessee State University. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving a true blue, warm blue ray to welcome to the podium our own Mayor, Mary Esther Reed. Mary. I'm a former classroom teacher, a small business owner, a graduate of MTSU, and I live in the same community where I grew up. I would even bet you that my morning this morning was similar to a lot of yours here today. I couldn't get my hair to do what I wanted it to. Um, I wasn't sure what shoes to wear so I wouldn't fall coming up the steps. I was trying to make sure Britt was dressed appropriately and that his tie was just right. And I had to change my outfit because when I went to iron it this morning, there was a huge spot. So then I had to decide what else to wear. So see, I told you we have some things in common. Now here's one thing that might be a little bit unique in my life. I'm now the mayor of the town where I grew up. I'm the first female mayor of Smyrna, Tennessee after serving on the town council for 10 years. My hometown is just 10 miles down the road from where we sit today. And we have a population of right around 40,000 people. One of our largest claims to fame in Smyrna is that we have Nissan North America's manufacturing plant. Before Nissan came to town, we were a very, very small community. Uh, growing up, I can tell you that one of the biggest things that I can remember happening was when Hardee's came to town and they had a drive through We thought we were big time. So I think you can see my community has changed over the past 30 years. 21 years ago, I was sitting exactly where each one of you are sitting today. I was graduating with a degree in early childhood education. I can assure you that day I never dreamed I would be coming back to give the commencement speech at graduation. As much as I disliked the class at the time, I sure am glad I had that public speaking class with Ms. Johnson in Jones Hall. MTSU has prepared me to give this speech. I was excited and nervous during my graduation. I knew the fun and games were kind of over and my parents were expecting me to become a real adult. I'd already interviewed and been hired for an interim teaching position at John Coleman School in Smyrna and was going to be a kindergarten teacher to 23 wonderful little children. MTSU prepared me to be that teacher. As I sat in that seat many years ago, I thought it was not the end of my time at MTSU. I was so wrong. It is a beginning of a new chapter in your life journey and one that I hope will continue to include Middle Tennessee State University. I know today I was asked to speak to you, the graduates, but what I wanna talk about will include every person sitting in this arena. It doesn't matter your age, your gender, your economic standing, or anything else about you. It's about making a choice, sometimes a choice that you were not even planning on making. I've been very lucky to grow up in a family of MTSU alumni that you just got to meet. A family where community involvement, public service, and support of MTSU were a way of life, really an expectation. When I started my interim position at John Coleman that first year, I can tell you, community involvement and public service were not even thought about. For any of you here who've been teachers, you know the only thing I was thinking about that first year was praying that I could make it through to that next day. Um, I had never, ever done anything as difficult as teaching in the classroom. I know this sounds awful, but the other thing that I was thinking about that year, I was praying that that teacher I had taken that interim position for was not going to come back so I could keep her job that next year. Um, I did think about MTSU a little bit that year because I'd started my master's that night, at night in January. I was a young teacher teaching at a school with great staff, great teachers, parents, and really good kids. 
The school had a large number of what we might call underprivileged children. I was invited to an organizational meeting to consider putting a boys and girls club in my hometown of Smyrna. You see, two teachers at another school were working on a service project with their children in their classrooms. They were looking at the needs of our community in Smyrna and after school care was an area they thought we needed to improve on. They went to their principal and they asked if we could have a community meeting to discuss the problem. I can remember it like it was yesterday. I'd taught school all day. All I wanted to do was go home, put on my pajamas, get on the couch, and hope I could make it till bedtime. For some reason, and to this day, I'm not sure why, I made a decision to go to that community meeting. A small group of community leaders, teachers, students, and parents had gathered in the cafeteria at Smyrna Primary School. We discussed the needs of quality after school care, we broke off into committees and we began to formulate a plan. We decided we were going to have a boys and girls club in Smyrna. That was the first time I really got involved in community service. It was a choice and it was a choice I had not planned to make. Within a year, that small group of people had a tiny building and we were serving over 100 children in the summer and after school. I stayed actively involved with the Boys and Girls Club for over a decade. And we moved to a larger location and we began to serve more children. Three years ago, we opened our current facility in Smyrna. It is a 15,000 square foot facility that is second to none in this country. We now serve about 400 children a day in our community, and we have the largest attendance of any Boys and Girls Club in the state of Tennessee. I cannot tell you how it makes me feel to drive by that building every day and to know I had a small part of making that facility possible and knowing the positive impact that that staff and that club have on children and families in our community. That's what started my love of community service. I guess you could say that board started my passion for being involved in my community. MTSU prepared me to get involved in my community. After my positive experience on the Boys and Girls Club board, I wanted to find other places where I could get involved and make a difference. One of the places I wanted to get involved was right here at MTSU. For me, it started with joining the Blue Raider Athletic Association. My family loves sports, so it was a natural fit for me. Eventually, I wanted to become more involved, so I got on the BRAA board. The MTSU National Alumni Association was also an area I chose to get involved. There are numerous, numerous opportunities for everyone here to have a place for you to get involved if you choose to. Graduates, I want you to know your hometown and this university needs community-minded MTSU graduates to become involved in decision-making that impacts the quality of life for your community and for this university. The point of these stories is not to brag on Smyrna, not to brag on MTSU, or to brag on the Boys and Girls Club, but I'll tell you, every chance I get, I try to do that. My point and my challenge to all of you is this. You are leaving this beautiful campus of higher education equipped with the necessary skills to participate in life. You do not have to take a sideline to anyone. You have the background to make a difference. MTSU has prepared you for that. Find something that you're passionate about, something you love, something that will further your philosophy of life. MTSU has prepared you for that. When you have found that something, jump in, get involved, step up and take a leadership role and stick to it through the tough times. MTSU has prepared you for that. Once you become involved, one of the obstacles that you will face will be this overwhelming feeling that there is so much to be done that you feel you're spinning your wheels, pushing a rock, up, rock uphill, herding cats, whatever. For every step forward, there might be two steps back. This is when I want you to remember a story. 
An old man was walking down the beach with starfish laying on the sand as far as his eye could see. He was picking up starfish and throwing them back into the ocean. A young boy was watching and asked the older man what he was doing. He answered, he was tossing the starfish back in the ocean. The young boy asked, why are you doing that? There are so many. You can't possibly pick up all of them. You can't make a difference. The old man held up a starfish as he tossed it back into the ocean and he said, I can make a difference for this one. I know the needs are great. MTSU needs you to become involved. You'll be launching a new career with many demands. Many of you have family responsibilities. Every community has numerous organizations with needs. Churches need volunteers to serve others. The local political system needs bright young people who can and will make a difference. I could go on and on listing organizations with needs, but you get the point. Find something you love, something you're passionate about, and get involved. Give back to this university and your community. For many of you right now, you're saying, nope, the needs are too great. I say you can make a difference. Leave here remembering the starfish story. Go forth into the world and make a difference one at a time. MTSU has prepared you to make that difference. Thank you. Would you like to prepare students for the future and carry on the legacy of your favorite teachers? Middle Tennessee State University education students explore proven instructional methods and discover innovative tools and approaches that are changing the way children learn. Our graduates' extensive student teaching experience makes them highly sought after by schools throughout the Southeast. This is just one community among many. Explore all that MTSU has to offer. Devoted to student success, Middle Tennessee State University. Science shapes our society. The products, technologies, and efforts of the sciences affect much of our everyday lives. And the more advances we make, the more the careers of tomorrow will rely on a strong education in the basic and applied sciences. At MTSU, you will learn from Tennessee's best faculty, along with hands-on training with the latest equipment and facilities. Come and learn the science of success. Being True Blue is giving your all on and off the court. My name is Ebony Rowe and I am True Blue. Being True Blue is embracing unique perspectives. My name is Iris Montez and I am True Blue. Being True Blue is helping students solve real world problems. My name is Cliff Ricketts and I am True Blue. Being True Blue is making the world a safer place. My name is Sam Willie, and I am True Blue. Now, ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving a True Blue, a warm blue ray to welcome to the podium, my good friend and great support of this university, the Honorable State Senator Bill Ketchery. <laughs> Graduates, the, the diploma that you will receive in a few moments is not only an acknowledgement of your achievements here at MTSU, but it acts as a key, a key to the door of opportunity, to the journey, the journey that you're about to partake for the rest of your life. It's now up to you to unlock that door. To unlock that door and utilizing the skills that you have learned so diligently here in your four years, maybe five. Took me five, all right? Or six. <laughs> Graduates, we live in an exciting time, a very challenging time in our world with a very fragile economy. There is less predictability in the marketplace. 
Never before in modern times has there been as much global competition as what there is today. And it's a changing economy. In this new age of technological advances, about a fourth of all Americans work in occupations that didn't even exist in the late 1960s. These advancements mean the world is becoming smaller and more connected than any previous generation. Yes, the challenges are great and the global competition is stiff, but this competition draws us from us our very best effort. And when you give your best effort, no nation in the history of the world has ever, has ever matched our productivity in these great United States. Each person here today is blessed with very unique talents, only to you. You have the talents and the skills that they bring to this diverse new job environment. Our nation's greatest asset is people like you, you the graduates. In order to continue to have a str the strongest workforce in the world, we must develop each one of you to your truest potential. America will remain the shining beacon of innovation, creativity, and the entrepreneurial frontier spirit. Yes, times may have changed over the last few decades, but as I look into the faces of those graduates that walk by me coming up the ramp, I can't help but remember my own graduation. It doesn't feel like it was that long ago, even though you remind everybody that it was, Dr. McPhee. And if there is one thing that has remained constant in a changing world, is that the hopes and dreams of graduates who were poised on the edge of their future. Back in 1970, I was here on Jones Field. It was grass at that time. Painting the white lines on the football field. For you see, my high school here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, the old Central High School, we didn't have our own football stadium, so we had to rent the one here at MTSU. The athletic director at that time, Coach Bubba Bubber Murphy, who this facility is named after, Murphy Center, came to me on the field one day, late Friday afternoon, I was out there painting those lines for our football game on Friday night, and he asked me where I was going to college. And I told him, I said, Coach, I'm going to UT. I've always grown up wanting to go to UT and live in the land of Big Orange. And I said, the offensive coordinator, Coach Caffigo at that time, had offered me a scholarship to pay me books. And if I worked out well, I could get more scholarship to be an, an equipment manager on the football team. Coach reared back and he goes, uh, what if I said I'd give you full scholarship to come here to MTSU? If you'll come here and wash our socks and jocks? That's the day that I changed from big orange to true blue, Dr. McPhee. <laughs> it was certainly one of the best decisions I ever made in my life. The day I walked across this stage, I didn't have a job lined up. I was still seeking direction on a career and what journey that I was going to travel, much like you, my hopes and my dreams were very much alive. One thing I do know for sure, however, that I owe this university a lot. And I was right about that. MTSU gave me an incredible education. But you'll realize the full value as it reveals itself in the years ahead. When I got my diploma, I got back to my seat, open it up and look at it, and it said, you may pick up your diploma at the administration, COPE administration building once you pay your parking tickets. <laughs> so I never park next to a yellow curb anymore since I've been coming to campus over the last 40 years. But I continue to be amazed at the doors of opportunity by getting my education here at Middle 
that it's unlocked for me in my business and even in my public office. That along with everything that had to be better than washing socks and jocks, I promise you that. In fact, the lessons that I learned here at MTSU inspired me to go into public service, which I'm very thankful for MTSU as it continues to put a premium on the importance of serving others. Graduates in this room have the potential to positively impact every facet of life in this community, in this state, in this nation, and even on an international basis. In whatever way you choose, it's up to you. Your vocation, your community, I hope you will try to make a positive difference in the lives of others. Working to make a difference for others is probably the best way to show respect for those on whose shoulders and sacrifices that you now stand. Winston Churchill once said, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. I have to attest that MTSU gave me something even more important as this campus is where I, I met my wife. She was a student here. I'd already graduated, so I was still trolling, okay. Uh, but it was a great, great time of my life. So she, too, has a strong roots here at MTSU. And besides receiving an excellent education here at MTSU, she has that good common sense and wisdom to keep me grounded. I recall the night that I was sworn in in the Senate. I thought it was a pretty big deal in my life. I thought graduation was, but this was even bigger in my life at that stage. I was one of 33 people to be elected to Tennessee State Senate out of 6.2 million people in our great state. We get back home after that celebration that day, and I'm just kind of floating. My head was maybe a little large. Um, she was at the sink washing the glass out. She turned to me and she said, what are you doing? Yeah, I said, nothing. She goes, you might be a senator now, but you need to take the trash out. <laughs> I said, yes, ma'am. So that wisdom transcends into education. My daughter, as she stood a minute ago, is attending MTSU, and so far you can tell that this family is extremely true blue. I hope that you and your family has been blessed by your experience here at MTSU as it has mine. These are the experiences that continue to beckon us home back to this university. In conclusion, let me share with you just a few points for you as you contemplate your future. As we all need to stay grounded, never forget where you come from. Never forget where you come from. This is one that my grandfather used to tell me when I was a young man. The Lord gave you two ears and one mouth, so you do more listening than you do talking. So you think, so you become. Define yourself by what you love. Respect people with less power than you. Don't rush life because it comes faster than you can ever imagine. Learn from your mistakes because mistakes are part of life. Listen to that inner voice. I know you had a conversation with them this morning about getting ready. Listen to that inner voice. It's usually right in telling you what next step that I want to take. Never deprive someone of hope. It might be all that they have. Give more than you take and you will find true happiness. And finally, as the former co-founder and first president of the Blue Raider Athletic Association, remember him, Tissue. Write a check. Keep it going for the next generation. So we are about to give you the key to the door of your door of opportunity. 
which is wide open. You have everything in front of you. I hope your dreams take you places that you can't even imagine today. Good luck, graduates. My name is Andrew Willoughby. I am an aerospace major with a concentration in professional pilot. I did an honors thesis project on commercial pilot maneuvers and, and their importance. The most significant things that led me to continue in honors was the, the fact that I needed something to set me apart from everybody in the industry. I've talked to a few companies that come to our career fairs, and I know several companies said, you've done a thesis, we really want to see that. And so they're already interested in my work as uh, an honor student. At Middle Tennessee State University, we are devoted to student success. We offer the advantages of a major comprehensive university with the care and attention found at a small college. We are a community that believes in learning, growth, and service. We hold these values dear, and there's a simple phrase that conveys them. I am true blue. I am true blue. I am true blue. At Middle Tennessee State University, music majors receive a world-class education from a renowned faculty. Students experience first-chair instruction no matter their instrument. Our graduates go on to share their gifts on stages worldwide and instruct the next generation of musicians, never forgetting that they found their forte at Middle Tennessee. This is just one community among many. Explore all that MTSU has to offer. Devoted to student success, Middle Tennessee State University. Do you want to make a difference? Make an impact in your world? The College of Behavioral and Health Sciences is centered around service. We want you to get out of the classroom and learn by meeting the needs all around us. Make a difference at the College of Behavioral and Health Sciences at Middle Tennessee State University. Now, for the presentation of the candidates and the conferring of the degrees. Dr. McPhee, on behalf of the faculty, the deans and I present six doctoral candidates, 316 candidates for the master's and specialist degrees, 1,655 candidates for the bachelor's degree. And finally, in recognition of your status as a degree, Recipient, graduates, please move your tassel from the right to the left of your cap. Congratulations. <laughs>